Someone asked me the other day, how fast does my slide go out? This one goes out, well, there. That's how fast it goes out. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends. Well, I'm sitting in my little motorhome office again. And uh, I need to tell you about this pole right here. For those of you who very kindly pointed out that I may have been dancing with the devil to have the bed raised above my head, I have taken your advice, thank you very much, and installed a pipe that I'll keep under the bed here and put it up there as extra support so that the bed cannot fall on my head. Okay? And sincerely, thanks for pointing that out for the several of you who did. As I look upon that, it did look like I was dancing with the dough. Oh, and uh, this is the chair that collapsed if you watched uh, Caravan Carolyn's video when we were playing cards and I suddenly disappeared under the table. Um, what happened was, I was up and down because I was cooking a quesadilla, and there's screws on a hinge back here. Little tiny screws, quarter inch screws. And I sat out way out here on the edge, which made it pull on the screws instead of sitting back here and putting pressure on that support. That's what happened. I'm not hurt, but if you happen to be working at the factory, eh. Get some longer screws, you fools. Well, my last video was kind of interesting to me in the comments. I expressed my opinions about the RTR and was poking some fun at it. And uh, some of the volunteers there, they got pretty wound up about me talking about all the rules. Uh, I uh, found some of their comments um, amusing, and I found some of them very enlightening about how serious people take things sometimes. Um, I could have um, attacked Jesus instead of Bob Wells and probably not been had the fire any hotter at the stake. Uh, for the record, I am a big fan of Bob Wells and a big fan of the RTR. And uh, I have watched Bob Wells for many years. I respect him greatly. I respect his mission. I admire him. He's been an inspiration to not only the RVing community, but uh, those who are new to RVing or living in any kind of an RV, whether it's a car, a tent, or whatever, they can uh, put together to make their life better. And uh, nobody absolutely no one in the YouTube community has been more responsive to that need than Bob Wells. So if I poked a little fun at Bob Wells in my last video and it offended you, please let me say this. Too bad, and I don't think that Bob Wells needs you to defend him or to define him. I've had the pleasure and the privilege to associate with a number of very famous people. And I'm not talking about YouTube famous, I'm talking about famous out there in other parts of the world. And uh, it has been my experience that those who have the self-confidence to handle fame, as Bob Wells certainly does, also uh, don't mind having a little fun poked at him once in a while. Anyway, if I offended you, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not sorry I did it. I'm sorry you were offended. <laughs> uh, what's on the menu today? I think I'm going to answer a couple of questions that I've gotten in the last month about living and retiring in Mexico. Are there English language bookstores? Yes, in Guadalajara, there is an English language bookstore that specializes in books in English. 
And uh, locally in Ahihik, there is an English language library at the LCS, that's the Lake Chapala Society. And uh, if you don't know what the Lake Chapala Society is, you should Google it, Lake Chapala Society. It's a uh, place in Ahihik that has an English language library and it's a meeting place for a lot of different interest groups and a lot of things go on there. Uh, you can Google LCS, Lake Chapala Society, and see. There are about 4,000, I might be behind the times in that estimate, uh, maybe 5,000 um, people who are members of the Lake Chapala Society, and uh, they do good works. Their main mission is, uh, originally was to uh, help and foster uh, young Mexican artists, and they still do that, but it has become also um, kind of a community center for expats. So anyway, check it out, Lake Chapala Society. Um, about English language stuff, there's also, um, there was a, a newsstand in Ahihik that sold magazines. I'm not sure it's still there. It was down by El Torito, if you happen to be local. It was down below the steps towards the back parking lot by El Torito. And um, it may not be there anymore. Newspapers and magazines are having a tough time in the world with the Internet. You can get most magazines on the Internet now. So I don't know if that's still there or not, but it was. Uh, talking about newspapers it reminds me of uh, my cousin went to Germany. And he went into a newsstand and he asked for a USA Today. And the guy said, do you want today's or yesterday's? And uh, he said, well, today's. And the guy said, come back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, do they have yard sales and secondhand stores? Yes, they definitely do, and they have them quite regularly. You'll see signs around the neighborhood for uh, Subasta is the name they use for a yard sale or a garage sale. And um, yes, they have secondhand stores. There are a couple of them, um, bazaars, they call them, in uh, Ahi. Carlos is, is one of them, and uh, Tom's. Uh, there's a couple of other secondhand kind of stores locally. My experience is that uh, the prices <laughs> that they uh, put on those is uh, quite often equal to new. So it's not been my experience that it's a bargain store to go looking for used stuff, at least locally around Ahihik and Chapala, Mexico. It could be that you'll find something that you can't find somewhere else, and used is better than none, but that's my experience. Do you need a Mexican driver's license? No, you don't need a Mexican driver's license. Um, you're quite legal to drive with your uh, United States or Canadian driver's license. Um, I have a Mexican driver's license. I also have a South Dakota driver's license. And the last time I went to South Dakota to renew it, the lady at the desk told me that Homeland Security says you can't have two driver's licenses. I refused to surrender my Mexican driver's license, telling her that I had Mexican-plated vehicles and it was necessary to have a Mexican driver's license, and I couldn't give her my Mexican driver's license. And she handed it back to me, but it's not true. Let's just do that one. What stores are available locally? Uh, if you include Guadalajara, which is a city of 5 million people, about every kind of store that you could possibly imagine is available locally. If you're just talking about Ahihik, we have a lot of small um, mom-and-pop markets that sell groceries and office supplies and, you know, whatever, um, auto parts. Um, and we have a Walmart and we have a Soriana, it's a big box 
store like Walmart. Um, we have lots of restaurants and all kinds of places to eat. Uh, there's even a casino. So what kind of stores do we have locally? If you're talking about locally, is the question kind of reminds me of years ago when we first moved to Mexico, I bought an inkjet printer. And uh, my brother-in-law said, oh, well, how are you going to get ink? Uh, am I going to have to send you ink cartridges? And I said, well, I'll probably go and buy them at uh, Office Depot, Costco, Sam's, Walmart, Best Buy, uh, one of those places, or just right on the street by the telephone company, there's a little uh, wagon in uh, Ahihik that fills ink cartridges. There's also another store uh, on Juarez that fills ink cartridges. So, uh, like I said, the question implied that you're going to a third world country and things won't be available. Anything you need is available. Uh, Guadalajara is a city of five million people, and whatever you need, they have. Well, I think that's enough for today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.